all right guys welcome welcome back to the we maxis youtube channel i'm your host jd if you're new please do smash that like button share and definitely subscribe and if you are a member of the channel keep on sharing the contents far and wide we really and truly appreciate it so we are going to be talking about another one of the additions for suriname we talked about two personnel class and um stefano denswell so we wanted to add this um personnel to the the pile to ask you how oh, strong I think the Surinamese um, team looking for the um, Gold Cup um, prelims. All right. So as you could see on the, on the screen here, we are going to talk about Virgil Missionan. Um, yes, as you could see right there, 29 years old and he is a citizen of Netherlands height 173 meter right there not the tallest and the last time he represented the national uh the country a eh, it was at u20s at this point um he has a market value of two million and preferred position we're going to get right into that and give you some additional things as well all right so preferable position um as you could see he plays left wing but also can deploy on the right wing as well and he can play central as well you know the um netherlandish uh netherlands personnel they seems to always have that fluid football in them to feel comfortable pretty much every single year all right so um he had um his travels as well as you could see right there he plays at Wilhelm Twe um right there Ludogorets um as well and let me give you the additional ones Luda Garrett and uh, Nuremberg and then he went to P E C Zwal and then now he's at FC Twentech um to kind of push his career back to the level all right yes this season he played a few games as you could see there in the Eredivisie which is the top level of Netherlands um he had made 28 appearances completed six goals three assists and four yellow cards starting 11 um that he was a, a part of was 74 percent minutes played 70 and um goals participation is 17 showcase that is a part of the main team an integral part that is um um the the uefa uh, uec um l qualifiers um he played four games had two assists and he was 100 percent apart of the start in 11 and he played um, an average of 78 minutes with 25 percent gold participation k n v b becker um he had two appearances in that one score one goal and he was 100 percent a part of that as well with 93 percent um playing time and gold participation is 33 percent all right so mission uh what he brings he brings trickery um good pace good positioning and he has the ability to actually put in a good cross and also can be composing of the past the football so you're seeing another um cheryl lebeka type player coming in all right so what that adds to suriname incredible um stability and also additional pieces to add to the overall team itself i think he might just be one of those guys that are going to be um good in the region so this put suriname in a good spot to definitely be up there with the big dogs and i hope he can come in and really show what he he could do because he is a good talent obviously um over time sometimes they might make a one and two mistakes and that kind of set them back i thought that he was one of those personnel but definitely if you take him in um it's a good talent i think um he might just be a next solid solid um wing slash wing slash forward coming in i saw that um we had um a few of uh, a few of them came in they looked solid to be honest but the two standout you have to say um was always um cheryl lebecca and um what's his name again uh what's that guy again uh i forgot his name but he he started a few times against jamaica and he seems to always turn up I forgot his name at this point but i will definitely add it in it all right yes so a couple and those guys they still are they're still up in the air um to give uh commanding uh a performance so you could say yes 
definitely they are on it while scott came in and i have to tell you while scott never looked as a like a bad player i think he is um a quality player as well yes so you do have others that came in and never really looked off beat all right yes joseph zone i'm talking about joseph zone um was one of them so joseph zone and charlotte baker came in and looking massively solid i think he might could um come in and tap joseph zone i don't know you guys what say you you get me but i think he will be up for one of those spaces um out wide and i can tell you it's going to make Suriname deadly deadly because they can keep on adding um, additional reinforcement so if you have a Charlotte Baker coming off or a Joseph Stone coming off um, you still have that um, extra dimension coming back on the pitch so Suriname um, out here doing big business yet again so miss it and uh, hopefully he could come in and do his job so guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section um, where you think this puts Suriname in the CONCACAF region um, yeah for me I think with all of these additions if they could come in in this window i can tell you they should get past puerto rico and make it to the the gold cup and the gold cup group looks very solid and looks like if they can sink in time they might be deadly peace out guys